These days, robots are often used to replace humans in dangerous situations, such as in search and rescue scenarios after the collapse of a building or in the aftermath of a natural disaster when conditions are still unsafe for rescuers to venture in. Natasha Govinda is a computer scientist at the CSIR who has to provide such robots with the ability to see the environment around them. A computer scientist writes code to solve various problems. Uh, we would write code in object-oriented programming such as Java or C++ or a scripting languages such as Python and you would use it, uh, programming is used in every, in every industry in the world at the moment. I would use uh, programming to solve specific computer vision tasks such as object recognition, scene understanding, 3D reconstruction, etc. The major project that I'm working on at the moment is an active vision task. So basically what active vision is, is we put a various sensors, so maybe a laser or a camera on a mobile platform or a robot. And the idea is if we want to understand what's happening in the environment, how many people, obstacles, uh, if we want to perform object recognition, active vision revolves around how do we intelligently look for information. So you don't want the robot to go aimlessly around a specific area, you want it to go to areas which is going to provide the most amount of information to perform its task as quickly and as accurately as possible. Okay, so basically what we do, at the moment I have an Xbox Connect sensor here, and an Asus x sensor there. So basically what we would do is we would mount these sensors onto a mobile platform, onto a robot, and then we would drive the robot around and we would get data from these sensors. So basically what the sensors would then, uh, what we would be able to do is we would get a normal RGB camera um, image of the environment. We would get an infrared image as well from these sensors. And then we would then build a 3D map of the environment which would look something like this. And this is then stored in a specific image or data, for, data structure, which we would then use to perform object recognition uh, and scene understanding. And by scene understanding, I mean, uh, where can the robot drive? What's navigate, uh, navigatable? Or where are the obstacles? How many people? How many chairs? If I want to go look for a specific object, where do I actually go to look for that specific object? So these sensors tell us a lot about the environment which the robot can use to interact with the environment. So one of the very cool projects that we're working on at the moment is this informed visual searching problem. So basically we're going to take a robot or a mobile platform, we're going to mount one of these sensors onto the platform and we're going to put on a robotic arm. So we're going to take this platform, put it in some unknown environment and say, can you go find me my keys or find a specific glass or a cup in this environment? And the idea is that it would use previous information to intelligently look for, say, where my keys are. So it would take into consideration where was the last time I, I it found my keys. Uh, and a key should be on a table, so it would search on a table. So the whole idea is about how do you intelligently look for information. If it, if the robot goes to a specific spot and it's trying to find a glass, the robotic arm would then pick up the glass, turn it around, make sure that it's actually what we're looking for, and then take it back to its end user. The idea behind this sort of um, scenario is actually to use it in search and rescue uh, scenarios where, uh, let's say, our house has collapsed or some sort of earthquake has taken place, so that we can actually go look for, we would know where to start looking for survivors, for instance. Why should someone should actually work at the CSR is because we do such interesting work. I mean, the CSR is the biggest research organization in Africa, and our research involves all different types of disciplines, not only computer vision and computer science stuff. And our work is cutting edge. So if you're interested in working in a challenging environment um, and problem solving and being on the cutting edge of technology, then the CSR is definitely a very cool place to work.